Hi, I'm Mario Rachi, Congress Chair for the Pharmaceutical Sciences World Congress 2010, which will be held in the thriving and exciting U.S. city of New Orleans. Our cultures will cross and our minds will meet so we can share and explore ways to improve global health through advances in pharmaceutical sciences. Well, one of the things that's been very rewarding during the time of my career here at the FDA is increasingly sort of becoming part of the global village, if you will, of pharmaceutical scientists. Because instead of a country-based or even company-based type of approach to the science, we are seeing this emerging scientific community. And I think it's particularly rewarding to see that happening in developing countries, where we're getting real scientific expertise bases being built up that of course will be the platform for their industries of the future and they have a lot to contribute they have a lot of ideas um, so we are now moving from something that was much more insular to to a broad uh, global based science and that's very exciting well pharmaceutical sciences is growing and it's uh, one of the fields that is really important in terms of how we treat health in the coming years and it is a global perspective because everything that we do in the US or in Japan or in Europe is reflected throughout the world because we have harmonization. It is very clear that we can no longer pursue this type of science in one nation alone. The United States has been a bastion of research for a long time and it's still at the forefront in many areas, but uh, other countries and uh, continents are very quickly uh, catching up. And uh, together with the internet, it's a wide open environment that we really need to take advantage of. And the only way to do this is by being global in our thinking. Also, the needs are very different from one country to the next. And by acknowledging that, uh, we can direct our research better to the needs of everyone in the world. We see scientists working together on common goals to solve common problems. And the only thing that can do is to lead to solutions and a standardization of strategies. I think there's a very good collaboration between industry and government to, to make sure we are well protected in this sense. What we've seen over the last 10 years and longer is pharmaceutical manufacturing becoming global so that most of the ingredients in our medicines now come from overseas, uh, principally countries like India and China. And in recognition of that, USP has actually set up sites overseas to be near our primary customers, the customers who use our standards. Um, to me, this is the start of the globalization chain because I think, to quote Thomas Friedman, as the world gets flatter, we're going to see these uh, sophisticated pharmaceutical sciences in these countries not only building ingredients and uh, simple and then more complex dose forms, we're going to see them take the lead in drug discovery. And I think that's going to be a very exciting moment for us. Um, I think it's inevitable, I think it's happening now. And I see again the conference in 2010 as a chance to hear those successes. We are really in the golden age of the pharmaceutical sciences. Uh, Basically, what is talked about at PSWC and what is talked about at AAPS meetings are the cutting edge of the rate-limiting steps in drug development. Well, I think it's been an incredible evolution. I first started in the Center for Biologics, and so I was there at the time when the biotech revolution was just hitting. And I've been privileged to oversee and be a participant in that particular evolution, as well as gene therapy. On the other side, though, in the small molecule side, there's also been tremendous uh, evolution, and we hope there's going to be a revolution, as you know, in, uh, in pharmaceutical sciences. And we see more and more pharmaceutical scientists evolving in a way in parallel to these developments in genomics as well as in uh, nanomedicine. So you can see that there has been a shift from uh, chemistry almost to uh, how we look at designing a new drug that usually at the genomic level, we would like to see how the drug affects genomics and how genomics affect the disposition of drugs per se. 
Are we ready for a world government? Are we ready for a world regulatory agency? I don't know, but you know, increasingly, if we avoid those discussions, our life is going to be more complicated than less. And I think the name of the game now is to harmonize, harmonize standards, harmonize scientific understanding and nomenclature, uh, really get the world communities to work together in a very positive way to get good medicines to patients. And I actually think pharmacy and pharmaceutical scientists are ahead of the game here. There are a lot of organizations and associations that aren't as far along. So again, I see 2010 as a chance to celebrate, to mark the milestone of achievement, but also look to the future and say, what's next? A uh, worldwide congress of pharmaceutical scientists is really a great thing to contemplate in this day and age because we are really, I think, coming together as a community. And this is an opportunity for all of us to share expertise, learning, to understand those local and regional problems, and perhaps through networking and other opportunities to formulate responses to those problems and actually just get to know um, put faces to names you may have seen on scientific papers or exchanged emails with. What a delightful opportunity to actually sit down and talk to these scientists face to face. I look forward to welcoming the community of pharmaceutical scientists to the conference 2010 in New Orleans. I think it's going to be a terrific meeting. It will be another uh, achievement compared to the Millennial Conference that I attended 10 years ago in San Francisco and I'm sure it will be even a bigger success and opportunity for dialogue and progress. This is Sandy Pang inviting you to join us in November 2010 at the Pharmaceutical Sciences World Congress uh, in New Orleans. Ying New Orleans in November. Thank mm -hmm. you.